Star vs. The Forces of Evil is the property of Disney, Darren Nefsey, and all respective owners. Any and all images have been used for the sole purpose of critique or parody and as such are protected under fair use. Please support the official release. Hey, how are you? I'm Slice of Otaku. And have you ever wondered about the importance of corn in Star vs? Because it's pretty wild how much emphasis is placed on a damn vegetable, but based on the stockpile of information we've been given so far, maybe we can figure out why. Firstly, Muni corn is different from Earth corn. We know this based on Marco's reaction to it. We get all the Muni corn we want. <gasps> it's so good. Marco being an Earthling. If that's not enough to satisfy you, then ask yourself why no humans or monsters for that matter, have attempted to take corn from Earth. It's just not the same. On Muni Pendants Day, Star explains that the first settlers of Muni apparently came with the pursuits of life, liberty, and corn. For them to put corn on par with freedom and their own lives just shows how highly they think of this stuff. This goes beyond the importance of a national treasure or just some delicacy. There has to be a deeper reason for their love of it. And from a creative standpoint, I wonder if the show's writers drew reference from Vladimir Lenin, a communist revolutionary who promised the people of Russia peace, land, and bread. The addition of bread was made to represent the issue of hunger. At the time, the people were starving, mostly because the peasant men who would typically supply food were drafted into the First World War. Lenin swore to prioritize feeding the people. And sure, the Mumins eat a ton of corn, but it's not like this is their only food source or the only thing they can actually eat. After all, we've seen Star eat plenty of other things and Star's dad talk about hunting for survival. And another thing to note is that Mumins aren't the only ones interested in corn. The mere utterance of corn in the presence of a monster puts them into a sort of trance. They too desire the golden kernels, but the Mumins monopolize the supply of it, placing anti-monster barriers around the royal cornfield. And it's possible that this is the only cornfield in the kingdom, but we haven't had any confirmation of that just yet. The barrier is anti-monster, but not anti-magic, probably because they don't expect monsters to have any magic, just like they expect them to have no corn. Ludo actually breached the cornfield's barrier undetected and has been extracting the content slowly with the help of his rat army. Right now, Ludo is on the path of domination. He doesn't have time to waste on nonsense. He isn't stealing corn with the risk of human wrath for the hell of it. Corn is essential to his plans of conquest. It must provide some sort of power to the people of Muni that keeps them on top. This leads me to believe that corn is deeply related to magic on Muni. And truly the biggest giveaway has to be from the episode Page Turner, in which Star's mother states that something, somewhere, is sapping the power of magic from the universe. Connect the dots. Ludo begins to steal a ton of corn, and suddenly magic is being drained? Strange coincidence. But at the same time, I'm not sure that the corn situation is the only reason for this, but instead a mere component to the issue. And the reason for that is that if corn is the equivalent of magic, wouldn't the butterflies already know where to look for the problem? Also. Queen Butterfly said something, somewhere. So it's not just a problem associated with only Muni, it's just not traceable at the moment. Kind of like Toffee, who after the explosion at the end of season one, has been pretty much missing in action. Another reason why I feel this way is due to Omni's ominous message. Now mind you, I've tried to decipher it myself, but it's a little too vague. That is, if it's a code at all. Sail, shield, sword, mace, weapon, maybe quest buy? Toffee with a strange background, Muni corn, tomato, can, metal, open. If any of you guys can come up with something sound from that, I commend you. Drop it in the comment section while you're at it. Right now, it seems like Toffee is calculating both the moods of Star and Ludo, and positioning them both in certain situations that would likely benefit him in the end. Corn seems to be a part of his master plan, which I want to cover more of in the future. Toffee is very, very interesting to say the least. But as for this video, I hope you enjoyed it. I would say share this video with any vegetable in your life, but that just sounds depressing, so just share this video with whoever. Thanks for watching and have an awesome day.